for the first time, scientists will be unveiling a real image, not just a computer animation, of one of the most mysterious objects in the universe, a black hole. After years of tireless pursuit and countless technological advancements, the impossible has finally been achieved. The first true image of a black hole has been captured. The captivating allure of black holes has enthralled both scientists and the public, owing to their overwhelming gravitational force and their ability to manipulate the very fabric of space-time. Despite relentless research spanning decades, the quest to capture a pristine image of a black hole has proved to be an immense hurdle until now. In an unprecedented breakthrough, scientists have unveiled the first authentic image of a black hole granting us a tantalizing peek into the enigmatic inner workings of these cosmic phenomena. This groundbreaking announcement ushers us into a realm where reality bends and the fundamental laws of physics are pushed to their limits. Join us on an exploration of this remarkable feat as we delve deeper into the significance of this incredible achievement and venture into the captivating world of black holes. Let's begin. For ages, Scientists and thinkers have been captivated by the mysteries of the universe and how it all works. From ancient times to today, humans have yearned to understand the cosmos. It all began with a bold idea put forth by English natural philosopher John Mitchell in 1783. He suggested that there might be invisible objects in space with powerful gravity that could be detected through the way stars move around them. But it wasn't until Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity in 1916 that the concept of black holes started to take shape. Einstein's theory proposed that massive objects could bend and distort space and time. This was a revolutionary idea that challenged the traditional understanding of gravity. It also opened up the possibility of the existence of black holes and had important implications for how objects behave in the universe. Black holes are incredibly massive objects that form when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. When a star runs out of fuel, it can no longer fight against the pull of gravity. If the star is big enough, its core collapses under its own gravity, creating a black hole. Despite Einstein's theory, many scientists were skeptical about black holes, and some believed they were too exotic to be real. But in the 1970s, Astronomers Louise Webster, Paul Murden, and Thomas Bolton made a groundbreaking observation. They spotted an invisible object orbiting a blue star from a distance of about 6,000 light years away. This object, known as Cygnus X1, turned out to be the first identified black hole. Cygnus X1 is located in the Cygnus constellation about 6,000 light years from Earth. It's a binary star system with a massive blue supergiant star and an invisible compact object believed to be a black hole. In the late 1960s, astronomers noticed that the system was emitting X-rays, a high-energy form of light associated with violent cosmic events like supernova explosions and matter falling into black holes. What puzzled the scientists was that the X-rays were not coming from the blue star itself, but from an unseen object nearby. This made it extremely difficult to capture an image of these elusive black holes. However, by studying the orbit of the blue star, they were able to infer the presence of a massive invisible object, confirming it as a black hole. The discovery of Cygnus X1 was a major milestone in the quest to understand black holes. It provided solid evidence of their existence, supported Einstein's theory of relativity, and opened up exciting new avenues for further research in astronomy. Although black holes may be mysterious and elusive, their presence can be detected through the effects they have on surrounding matter. When a star orbits a black hole, its movement gets faster and faster as it gets closer, causing a change in its light that we can measure. This helps us determine the mass of the black hole. Another way to detect black holes is through gravitational lensing, where the gravity bends light from distant objects, creating a distorted image that we can observe. Even though we've learned a lot about black holes, there's still so much we don't know. And here's something mind-blowing. Black holes aren't rare. They're actually everywhere. In our Milky Way alone, there could be around 400 million black holes. And in the observable universe, there could be at least 2 trillion galaxies with supermassive black holes at their centers. Each black hole is unique, with its own gravitational pull and set of rules. So, what are these rules? Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. 
Getting past the event horizon is incredibly difficult because it's the point of no return. Once inside, the laws of physics as we know them don't apply. Gravity is so strong that it warps space and time, compressing everything to an infinitesimal point, the singularity. The singularity is the core of the black hole, where most of its mass is concentrated. It's an incredibly dense and tiny point. But here's the thing. Nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull. That's why black holes are called black. They don't emit any light. They turn everything they encounter into nothingness. Despite their terrifying reputation, black holes also captivate us. So how do scientists study these cosmic beasts? They observe the radiation they emit and the surrounding dust and gas. It's like studying a blurry photograph of a distant object. You can only get so close before your camera is sucked into oblivion, which is obviously not ideal. But scientists have theories. They ponder what lies beyond the event horizon, and the possibilities are mind-bending. Instead of just emptiness, what if there's a gateway, a passage to another universe, another galaxy, or even another dimension? We're not talking about an ordinary gate here, but something that could potentially enable faster-than-light travel, which is currently believed to be impossible. But what if we could develop the technology to do so? Imagine the possibilities of journeying through a black hole and emerging in an entirely new world. It may sound wild, but it's not as impossible as it once seemed. Of course, we have a long way to go before this becomes a reality. We still have much to learn about black holes and the nature of space and time. However, the mere consideration of using black holes as a shortcut for interstellar travel is mind-blowing. If this theory holds true, it could revolutionize the world of space exploration. Yet, not all scientists agree on the feasibility of traveling through black holes. Some propose a simpler yet equally mind-bending idea. What if black holes are actually gateways to parallel universes or alternate dimensions? Enrico Rinaldi, a scientist based in Tokyo, offers an intriguing perspective. Rather than focusing on the singularity inside the black hole, Rinaldi suggests looking at the outer aspects. His theory of holographic duality proposes treating black holes as holograms. According to this concept, everything surrounding black holes is essential, and the swirling dust, particles, and gases provided valuable insights into their behavior. Instead of envisioning a black hole as a mere sink, Rinaldi suggests picturing it as a ring that gradually consumes everything in its path. As it engulfs more matter, it grows in strength, drawing in additional particles and gases. This process creates a mesmerizing vortex of energy, visible from distances spanning light years. By studying the patterns formed by particles and gases around black holes, we can gain a deeper understanding of their mechanisms and capabilities. The holographic duality theory has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the entire universe. It proposes that everything we perceive and experience may be a projection, a hologram representing something beyond. This notion aligns with the holographic principle, a well-established theory in physics. It suggests that the information contained within a specific region of space can be projected onto its boundaries, creating a holographic representation. If the holographic principle holds true for black holes, it could reshape our comprehension of the cosmos. It implies that our current understanding is merely a shadow of a more intricate reality. Some scientists speculate that our universe might be just one of countless holographic projections, each reflecting a slightly different version of reality. This concept suggests the existence of numerous parallel universes, each with its own unique characteristics. While these ideas remain in the realm of theory and speculation, the groundbreaking work of the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration has provided us with a stunning visual representation of a black hole. At the heart of our galaxy lies the supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A-star. Through the EHT's efforts, we now have the first direct visual evidence of a black hole. Although we cannot observe the black hole itself due to its complete darkness, we can witness its event horizon. This boundary represents the point of no return, where light and matter are forever trapped. The recent picture of Sagittarius A has given us more evidence that supports Einstein's theory of general relativity. It has taught us new things about how giant black holes interact with their surroundings. But Sagittarius A isn't the first black hole we've looked into closely. In 2019, we were able to directly capture an image of M87, a black hole in the Messier 87 galaxy. M87 is a powerful source of radio energy and has a bright jet of gas shooting out from its center. 
This jet emits a type of radiation called synchrotron radiation, which tells us a lot about what's happening around the black hole. Back in 2017, the Event Horizon Telescope took images of M87 central region and revealed something amazing, a dark object surrounded by a ring of radio emission. That dark object is the black hole's shadow. This was the first time we had direct proof of a black hole's existence. The black hole in M87 is incredibly massive, about 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun. The ring of radio emission around the black hole's shadow is brighter on one side because of something called the Doppler effect. As the black hole spins, the material on the side facing Earth appears brighter due to this effect. The black hole's gravity pulls gas toward it, and as the gas spirals down, it releases energy, creating a powerful beam of electrons that move close to the speed of light. This beam is what we see as the bright gaseous jet coming from M87. These jets are some of the brightest things in the universe and play a role in shaping galaxies by heating up and pushing out gas, which can stop new stars from forming. The discovery of the black hole in M87 and the disk around it has given scientists an incredible opportunity to test Einstein's theory of general relativity, which explains how gravity works on a cosmic scale. By studying both Sagittarius A and M87, scientists can compare and learn more about these mysterious objects. While we can't get as close to M87 as we can to Sagittarius A, having two black holes to study opens up many exciting possibilities for scientific research. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what mind-blowing possibilities do you envision if we could harness the power of black holes for interstellar travel? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.